In today's video, we are going to create this rotating image carousel in Figma, but that's not all. There's a bonus tip at the end you don't want to miss, so make sure you stick around to discover it. My name is Jacqueline and this is Equia Designs. Let's get started. First, create your frame and change the color of your frame background. Now, create a circle inside your frame. Moving on, create a square shape with your frame and adjust its properties. Using the Unsplash plugin, insert an image into the created frame. Delete the fill of the frame and add a stroke to it. Adjust the width of the stroke and change its color. Select both the image and the circle and select the to path plugin. Adjust the count to 5 and the vertical align and horizontal align to 1. Then click the link button to create 5 images linked to the path of the circle. Adjust the size of the linked image and circle and drag it out of the frame. Slightly rotate the linked group, select the first image and set its rotation to 0. Rotate the linked group, select the second image and set its rotation to 0. Repeat this for the rest of the images. Replace the various images once you're done adjusting their positions. Now, drag the linked group back to the frame. Select the circle and then turn off its opacity. Adjust the starting point of the image by rotating the linked group. Individually select all the images in the linked group and adjust their stroke width to 2. Duplicate the frame and rotate the linked group clockwise to change the position of the images. Repeat the process for the rest of the images. By holding down command and shift, select the various top images in the various frames and increase their sizes. Select the text tool and type out your text. Increase the text size and change its font. Finally, change the text color. After you've typed your various texts for each of the images, align them horizontally and make sure they are evenly spaced. Then add an auto layout. Convert the text to a component. Drag its instance into the first frame and make sure it's aligned. And drag the next instance into the second frame. The second text must fit the second frame. Repeat it for the rest of the frames. Draw a circle. Remove the fill and add a stroke, then change the color of the stroke. Select the pen tool by pressing P on the keyboard and draw an arrow icon. Then change its color and adjust its stroke width. Group the arrow in the circle and rename it to next, then duplicate it and move it to the other end of the frame and rename it to previous. Select both icons, adjust the spacing, then copy and paste in the various frames. Switch to prototype and connect all the arrows using the onclick command and the smart animate. Voila, a rotating image carousel. Now, let's switch things up. Create a copy of the arrow icon, duplicate it, add a fill to the duplicate and change the color of the arrow to white. Duplicate the copy again and slightly change the color. Now create a component set from the three. Link the first variant to the second variant. Using the while hovering setting, link the second variant to the third variant using the onclick setting. Now there you have it, we're done. 